Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lily and today I'm going to be doing um, kind of just an overall update on my store and then also talk about what I bought from Mary Martin. Um, so I had previously been buying some lots on um, eBay from various sellers. Some of them were a lot better than others. Um, and this was just a way to source some um, inventory. Um, I'm in college and I don't have a car with me on campus. So basically the only way that I can source inventory is when I'm back home or um, online. So I've been really trying to find good ways to source my inventory. Um, and so I have found a couple of people on eBay that I have been buying stuff from that um, are like just selling off their postcard collections or they found them at estate sales and that has been working out fairly well for me. Um, I have bought a lot that wasn't the greatest, um, but you know, make mistakes and you learn. Um, so anyway, I wasn't familiar with Mary Martin until um, some, I saw something on Facebook about it, but um, anyway, so I ended up, I, I didn't really know exactly how it all worked, um, and I didn't want to spend, like, too much money, so I gave myself a budget, and I went through the website and, like, looked through things that um, I, like, just generally like listing, um, because I find that when I buy stuff that, like, is interesting to me, um, on topics or states that are interesting to me, then I'm more likely to list it, and I enjoy listing it more. So anyway, um, I had lost a lot of <laughs> the, um, auctions, and I ended up winning one. I had probably bid on, like, five or six of them, um, and the one that I won was, uh, was called, like, Massachusetts Lot and it was at 600 plus. And so I actually got it misdelivered back to my home address. So I had to wait a while to get it. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what it came in. It just came in, in a priority mailbox. Um, and I have listed maybe like 150 of them or so right now. Um, but I'm going to guess that what I got was more than 600 um, maybe 800 or more, um, because keep in mind, I did already list, like, I guess, like, probably 150 or so, but anyway, that's a lot, <laughs> um, so anyway, and what, what was really nice about it is that they came very organized, um, Actually, I have the paper right here of what I bought. Um, it just said approximately 600 postcards. Um, and I spent $145 on these postcards. So, anyway, keep it in mind. Um, but they came really well organized. I'm just going to show you a few of them. Um, I was surprised with how many undivided backs I got, um, and just, like, just generally older stuff, um, that I was just not expecting, um, probably not showing it the best way, but it was just really nice because it's all, um, organized pretty much, um, by, like, towns in Massachusetts, um, and so it's really easy just to go through and list things because when you go through a town, um, you get to know what's already out there on the market. So when I come across something that I know I've already seen out there, whatever, I will just know, like list it for four or five bucks. And then if it's something that I haven't seen before, um, I'll list it for more. These are two cool ones. Um, different main street views in... North Adams, Massachusetts. So, another thing is, like I said, these have all come from, like, the same four towns. So, it's, like, Northampton, 
Massachusetts, North Adams, Massachusetts, Onset Bay, and somewhere else. Um, but generally, a better... Just, like, it's... The cards that I'm, like, getting from this, I feel like some of them are, yeah, they're just, you know, solid three, four buck cards. But some of them I've been listing and selling for ten dollars um and people are buying them full asking price so it just kind of depends on um what I'm getting um for how much I list it for but yeah so it's just been nice this is the bag that I've started working with and I'm almost finished with um and some of them are see how they had like little uh cards in it that like uh divided it um, and it's just been fun, and I've just liked doing this, so I would totally recommend, uh, buying from them again. Um, I'm probably gonna look out for the next auctions that come up, because, I mean, when I think about, I've spent $145 on some lots on eBay that are not as good quality as the cards I'm getting here, and sure, there's duplicates and whatever, but it's just, it's such, it's so easy, um, listing these because they're from the same places, um, and I really just do enjoy listing Massachusetts cards, I think for, I don't know why or for what reason, but I generally s tend to sell pretty good for those, so, anyway, that is my little update, um, and there, the last thing I probably have to say is that there was about a week or so ago where I was not listing at all, and I maybe had, like, a handful of sales, um, but I've been consistently and regularly uploading every day, and I try to list, like, 30 cards-ish a day or more, um, and my sales have picked back up, um, and it's just nice, like, you know, when you get into that rhythm, and you get into those sales, it's just, it's motivating to keep going, so, so that's about it. Um, thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. That's about it.